Kia ora, I'm Sherry Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. There's scepticism over the government's latest plans for a greener transport sector. The emissions reduction plan released yesterday puts more than half a billion dollars towards pushing electric and hybrid vehicles. The money will help lower and middle income households scrap their fossil fuel burning cars for a climate friendly alternative. But all aboard Auckland Transport Coalition spokesperson Tim Adrianson says locking people into car use is the wrong move. Providing people with transport choices, allowing them to use dependable low-cost transport options such as a bicycle or catching public transport would probably have a better impact. Potential influenza hotspots are emerging before winter has even officially begun. Although the Omicron outbreak is still a focus, our east border has let the flu back in after an absence of community infections for the past two years. Southern DHB says it's seeing a spike in flu cases with patients already presenting in emergency rooms. Otago University's also confirmed cases are circulating through the campus and is encouraging students and staff to take up its offer for free flu vaccination. There's hopes Budget 2022 will contain the lifeline needed to bring the overburdened legal system back from the brink. Open Justice says there's been a 41% rise in the cost of legal aid with $225 million spent in the year to the end of June 2021. That's up from $160 million for the same period in 2018. But despite the amount being spent, Law Society data shows 20,000 people seeking legal aid have been turned away in the past year. The splurge is blamed on a spike in cases which are taking longer to prepare for and resolve in complications caused by COVID-19. Economic growth is set to slow in both New Zealand and around the world. That's according to Westpac's quarterly economic overview, which predicts the official cash rate to reach a peak of 3.5% by the end of this year. It expects that to include a series of 50 basis point increases in the coming months. Acting Westpac Chief Economist Michael Gordon says interest rates are already baking in the idea of the OCR rising. We're already seeing the impact that that is having on the housing market. That in turn will have an effect on households' willingness to spend and that'll be part of the process of slowing the economy. A lot of Kiwi kids are having a hard time inside and outside the classroom. Data obtained by the organisation Sticks and Stones shows 15% of 15-year-olds report frequent bullying, the highest in the OECD. A further 32% of students report being bullied at least a few times a month. Sticks and Stones say the most prevalent is verbal bullying, which takes place both online and in person. Meanwhile, a major new study has found autistic children are three times more likely to be stood down or suspended from school than other students. However, those students who received ongoing high-needs funding were found to have the same suspension levels as the general population, suggesting better financial support for autistic kids could lower suspension rates. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.